class. Such class is called as inclusive classes. And each class should have a width of 10 each. Here we have clearly mentioned it. And so and these are the marks of students in a certain test. So in the solution, first of all, we should know what is the lowest value and highest value of a given data. Here the lowest value in the given data is 12 and highest value is 69. Lowest value is 12, highest value is 69. Since size of each class is 10 that is given in this question itself. Therefore, therefore, the classes are how we are going to frame the classes. So the classes are lowest value is 12. So below that which is the multiple of 5 that is 10. We are going to start with 10. And 10 values we are going to include. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We are going to write up to 19. And we are not going to repeat 19 once again because we are going to frame the uh, frequency distribution with inclusive class interval. So don't repeat 19. Next from 20. 20 to 29. Like this. Up to highest value is 69. Therefore up to 60 to 69. So the, the required continuous frequency distribution will be first we have to write the title frequency distribution of marks of students. Marks of students. Frequency distribution of marks of students. First column will be marks that is nothing but class interval. Second column is tally mark. Third column is number of students. Number of students are nothing but we can make mark it as F that is frequency. So first of all we will write the class intervals. We have divided the class intervals as 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59 and 60 to 69. So these are the class intervals. Now we will mark the tally in front of each classes based on the values given or based on the marks of students. Class 40 to 49, 59 in this class, 